It's another progress report on the world tour of innovation. We're in Washington, D.C. talking about radiation measurement. We're back on the World Tour of Innovation, and I'm here at Georgetown University again with Dr. Marco Moscovich. Let's continue our conversation talking about some of the technologies that now can help uh, determine some of what people are concerned about. Yeah, let's look at some of the technology that actually can help us detect radiation and make sense out of it. What we see here is a variety of radiation detectors. In general, we have two types of detectors. These are radiation dosimeters, uh, and those are radiation detectors. They have many things in common, but they are used sort of differently. These are personnel dosimeters, which are used by radiation workers and to monitor their personal dose. This type is called thermoluminescence dosimeter, or TLD. Uh, it's uh, made of aluminum card, which has four crystals, and it's called a passive dosimeter. It means that it has to be processed to be able to extract those information. This is also a dosimeter. It's called EPD. EPD stands for Electronic Personal Dosimeter. This dosimeter provides information in real time. So while the person is exposed, this dosimeter will record the dose information, show it, and alarm in case the dose level exceeds certain uh, threshold. So this is active dosimeter. Uh, this dosimeter also provides those information to different organs or different depth in the body. For example, distinguishes between skin and deep organs, etc. These three here, they are designed to provide real-time radiation detectors. If someone walks into a, a high-dose area, this uh, detectors will alert, alarm, and provide those information. This one is called RAD-IG, can uh, measure only one type of radiation, gamma rays. It's basically a very known technology, Geiger Mueller, it's been around for a long time, but uh, this device is actually, uh, it's a very compact and very modern version of a GM tube. Just to give you some idea, this is more of an older technology GM tube. This is a radiation detector based also on the same principle. We can see how the technology actually advanced from this to that in only a few years. We have another device here, which is called also RADI. It's much more sensitive than the previous one. And we'll see a little bit later how quickly it can respond to a very low levels of radioactivity. Then we have this device. This is also a RADI but uh, it has something else on the back. It has this thing here, right here. This device is based on gas. However, it is capable to measure different types of radiation. It can measure highly penetrating radiation, like gamma rays, but it can also measure a very non-penetrating radiation, like alpha. It has a thin window in the back, and it can actually pick up alpha particles from surfaces or from contaminated areas. In fact, the way it is used is basically if there's any contaminated area, you can actually survey the area and find out where the spill was, if you have a spill. Again, the detection principle is very similar, but the users, the applications are, are somewhat different. We just can't show it all. Explore more at thermoscientific.com.